This is the third video working with linear equations and inequations. And what we're doing today is we're looking at uh, solving equations with brackets. So that's what we're learning to do. Uh, I've got two examples of what we might be faced with. Um, we might be faced with, faced with uh, 2 bracket x plus 3 close bracket equals 12. Okay, or something quite a bit more complicated than that with brackets. Uh, two brackets to multiply out and a bracket at the far side as well on the right hand side. So, so um, something a bit more complex in that one there. Let's start with uh, the questions that we have across here first of all, okay? So remember when we're working with brackets, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the brackets out first of all. So let's go and do that. So multiplying the bracket out, 7 times d is 7d. 7 times 3 is 21, so that's plus 21. And that equals 56. So this is us using our uh, algebraic expressions and our knowledge of multiplying out brackets to solve uh, equations. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that 21 that's there because I don't want that on the left hand side. So I'll subtract 21 from there, subtract, subtract 21 from the other side. So what that will do is that will cancel out there. That will give me 7d is equal to, and that's going to be 35 at that side there. And then I'll divide by 7. Just divide by 7. That there will cancel out the 7 and the 7. They will become 1. So 7 divided by 7 is 1. So that's 1d. And 35 divided by 7 is going to be 5. So that's going to give me d equals 5. Okay. I'll multiply this bracket out. So that one times that one gives me minus 5m. Minus 5 times a positive 5 will give me minus 25. There's only one minus in the calculation. So it's going to be a, a negative answer. Then I've got 55 sitting here. Okay, I don't want that number that's sitting there, that minus 25. So I'm going to add 25 on. That'll cancel that out. I must add 25 to the right-hand side if I do that to the left. I've got minus 5m is equal to, if I add 25 on to that, that's going to give me 80. Okay, so what I'll do next is I'm going to divide by 5 on this side. Because I don't want 5 there, I'll divide by 5 on that side. And what I should do is get these cancelling out. That will give me 1m is equal to. Now, 5 into 80 will go 16 times. If I look at how many negative signs there are, there's only 1. There's an odd number. So it's going to be a minus 16 there. So m equals minus 16. Right, this type of question sometimes gets a wee bit confusing. If I've got a minus sign at the front, remember it's minus 1 that's sitting there. That's minus 1. So I'm going to go for minus 1 times 2y will be minus 2y. And minus 1 times minus 14. So two negatives in the calculation will make a positive. So that's positive 14. Okay. It's 50. I'm going to get rid of this 14 on the left-hand side. So I'm going to subtract 14 from the left-hand side. And I'm going to subtract 14 from the right. So they're going to cancel out and just leave me with minus 2y on this side. And that's going to leave me with 36 on the right hand side. 50 take away uh, 14. I'm going to divide by minus 2. Divide by minus 2. These are going to cancel, which leaves me with just with y. And 2 into 36 leaves 18. Okay. And I've got one negative sign there. So it's going to be a negative 18. So that's the three of these uh, completed. Let's look to the next row, okay? Okay, multiplying the brackets out again. So 8 times d will give me 8d. 8 times minus 6 is going to give me minus 48, and that's going to equal 24, okay? I'm going to add 48 to the left-hand side and also to the right-hand side to allow me to eliminate that number that's there. That leaves me with 8d is equal to, and that's going to be 72 on the right, okay? I'm going to divide by 8 on that side, and I'll divide by 8 on that side. Do the same to the left as the right. That leaves me with d on this side here, and that'll give me an answer of d equals 9 in that equation. A negative sign multiplier again, so I've got uh, minus 3x. Minus 3 times minus 8 gives me a positive 24, which leaves me with 9 on that side there that I've not touched yet. I'm going to get rid of that 24 by subtracting 24 from it. If I do that on the left, must do the same on the right hand side. This side here leaves me with um, minus 3x. Remember that's cancelled out. This here I've got 9 and I'm going to take away 24 from it. That will leave me with a minus 15. 
okay? I'm going to then divide by the number that's in front of x, which is minus 3. Dividing by minus 3, dividing this side by minus 3. These cancel out, leave me with x on its own. 3 into 15 gives me 5. A negative there and a negative there. I've got two minuses in that calculation, makes that a positive when I'm doing the uh, dividing or multiplying. Right, multiplying this bracket out, 4x is going to be 60, and that equals minus 20. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the 60 that's on this side, so I'm going to take 60 away, and I'll take 60 away from that side there. Okay, so what I've got left with on the left hand side is just 4x because that equates to 0, and minus 20, take away another 60. Okay, that's going to be minus 80. Okay, don't get confused with two minuses make a positive. We're starting at minus 20 and we're going down by another 60. So that takes us down to minus 80. I'm going to divide each side by 4 to get rid of the 4 that's there. So that cancels out, leaves me with 1x is equal to 4 into 80 goes 20. I've got one negative sign in the calculation, so it must be a negative answer that's there. So it's uh, x equals minus 20. Right, two more to do, and that'll be all for this video here. So just a, a short video. The, the last one looks quite complicated for us, and we'll see how that works out as we go forward. Right, again, multiplying out the bracket. Multiply that times that, that'll give me 15x. 5 times the minus 7 will give me minus 35. Oh, I've got a plus 15 sitting in there, and I've got 25 on the right-hand side there. Right, I'm going to gather these numbers together before I do any of the elimination first. <clears throat> so 15x, I've got minus 35 plus 15, that will give me minus 20 on this side here. Right now, I don't want that number on the, the left-hand side, so I'm going to take uh, get rid of it by adding on uh, 20. Add on 20, that will eliminate that there. And I'm going to add on 20 to the right-hand side. So what that leaves me with here is 15x is equal to 45. And all I'll do is I'll divide by 15 to get x on its own. If I divide on the left, I must divide on the right. That leaves me with x is equal to 15 goes into 45 three times. Or I could have simplified the fraction down until I get to, to an answer that I can work with. Final part of the question here for solving equations with brackets. So what we've got on this side, we've got two brackets together. So from your algebraic expressions work, you would remember how to multiply that out either by FOIL or by splitting the brackets. I'm going to split the brackets on this uh, left-hand side first, okay? And what I mean by that is I'm going to take an X to here, okay? And what I'm going to do with that minus 2, I'm going to put it there, okay? And in between here, I'm going to put X plus 1 and X plus 1. So the reason why I've done that is that uh, I've got to multiply this bracket out here by x, so there it is there, and I've got to multiply that bracket there by minus 2, there it is there. Okay, so, so this will work out to be for you in the next line, okay? This one over on this side, just to be different, I'm going to multiply it out by foil, okay? Although there is a quick method to multiply out uh, a square bracket, but I'll just do that one by foil, I'm doing that one by splitting. So if I do x times x, that gives me x squared. x times 1 gives me plus 1x, or just plus x. Minus 2 times x gives me minus 2x. Minus 2 times 1 gives me minus 2. On this side of the equal sign, I'm going to do it by foil. So the firsts, that's going to be x squared. The lasts, are going to be these two. Sorry, firsts. O is going to be the, the outsides, that's going to be the, the x and the 3 here, so that's going to be the plus 3x. Insides is going to be the 3 times the x there, so that's going to be plus 3x. And the lasts, that will be these two here, the last in the bracket. 3 times 3 gives us 9. Okay, so I've got quite a lot of work that's over here. What, what I could probably notice here is that I've got an x squared on that side and an x squared on that side, and I could probably just cancel them out. But I'll go through uh, the, the normal method that we're doing by doing the same thing to each side to eliminate them. I'm going to gather up the middle terms first of all here. So that's going to be x squared. That's going to be, I've got x and I'm taking away 2x. That will take me to down to minus x. Minus 2 is equal to an x squared 
plus 6x when I gather these two together, plus 9. Right, so I don't want an x squared at that side here. I don't want it anywhere, to be honest, in this type of work. So I'm going to take x squared away, and I'll take x squared away from both sides. What will happen is, that will be eliminated. Phew, good, that's eliminated. Okay, so that will still leave me with a linear equation that I've got here, one that doesn't involve a, a square. So I've got uh, minus x minus 2 is equal to 6x plus 9. So that's a bit easier for me now. I don't want that uh, number there, minus 2, sitting there, so I'm going to add 2 onto this side. If I add 2 to that side, I add 2 to that side. That leaves me with minus x. That's cancelled out. That leaves me with 6x plus 11. I don't want this 6x on the right-hand side. I want the x's on the left-hand side. So I'm going to really just take that away from that side, which will eliminate that. Um, but I've got to take away 6x from this side. So x, or that's a minus 1x, um, I'm going to take away 6x from it. That'll leave me with minus 7x on the left-hand side, which leaves me on this side, once that's eliminated, with 11. I'm then going to divide both sides by minus 7, divide by minus 7, and finally, these guys are going to cancel out, leaving me with x, and that's going to be my final answer. So my final answer is going to be x is equal to minus 11 over 7. Okay, final answer. Right, so that's, uh, that's a number of questions that I've done on uh, solving equations with brackets. And once you've uh, completed the work I'm going to ask you to do on this section, it should complete the success criteria here that I can use my knowledge of working with algebraic expressions involving expansion of brackets to find solutions. So that's what we're actually working on uh, today. OK, and I'll assign some work to you uh, through Teams. So good luck with this and stick in with uh, the solving equations.